Hello everyone, welcome to PA Consulting Pro. This is another episode of Power Query Tutorial and in this episode we will learn how to troubleshoot data flows. In this video we will learn troubleshooting while creating data flows, secondly getting data from data flows and lastly connecting to the data source. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. If you are over here for the very first time, please consider to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. The very first comes troubleshooting while creating your data flows. First, we are going to discuss when you are getting the error that I cannot create a data flow in my workspace. The problem happens when you try to create a data flow in my workspace in Power BI. So what can be the reason behind that? Well, this is happening because creating a data flow in my workspace is not supported. So you cannot create over there. However, the resolution is create your data flows in the organizational workspaces. That means you have to create another separate workspace over there. First, you have to log into your Power BI service. Once you are on your Power BI service, you have to click on this sidebar where you will see my workspace and other workspaces. If you want to expand, you can expand as well. Then you will find this my workspaces tab. Then click on workspaces tab over here and then click workspaces. Here you need to just define the name of your workspace. And if you want to mention any description here, you can do that. Go to advanced tab if you want to mention any contact list or you want to specify any user then also you can specify your workspace onedrive then you can select the license because i have pro and premium then both licenses are appearing if you have all four licenses everything is gonna be highlighted over here and you can select which one you want to use to create this workspace and then if you would like to develop a template app you can click over here and lastly if you would like to allow contributors to update the app for this workspace you can also do that then after that you just need to save that's how you are going to create an organizational workspace number second is i can't create a data flow in an organizational workspace where i have read only right if you are member of an organizational workspace and you still can't create a data flow it might be because of your access rights in that workspace so the reason is you don't have edit rights in that workspace so what you can do well in that case you have to ask the administrator or member to give you an admin member or contributor role so either of these roles if you have then you can definitely do that Next is I can't create a data flow in a workspace where I have edit rights. So you can also encounter this kind of problem while you are creating your data flows. So what can be the reason behind this? Well, the reason is the access to data flow creation was disabled by the Power BI admin. So how to enable it? Well, for that you have to go to your Power BI admin portal. And here the very first step is to go into the Power BI admin portal which you can access from the gearing icon on the top of your Power BI service and from there go to the admin portal. Once you are over here, you have to go to the tenant settings and from the tenant settings, you can go to the data flow settings and there you have to enable this setting. If you don't have this right, again, you have to contact the Power BI admin. Next is, I only see limited options when I create a data flow. Well, it's not the case. Generally, you can see everything, but still, if you are looking at an image like this, for example, you only see two options. You are not looking like this, that there are a lot of options are over there. So what to do in this case? The main reason behind is that you are creating the data flow in an old version of Power BI Workspace, which is also called V1. So there were the classic workspace and there were the modern workspaces. So you have to basically start using the modern workspace only. So the resolution is upgrade your Power BI workspace to the new version V2. 
If you don't know how to do that, please do check our other videos or let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna help you out. Now we are gonna discuss the second part where we are going to troubleshooting while getting data from data flows. You might have created a data flow, but then had difficulty getting data from it, either by using Power Query in Power BI Desktop or from other data flows. So in this one, I'm gonna explain you how to solve those problems. The very first problem you can encounter can be an error, this table is empty. Let's assume that you are getting data from a data flow, either in Power BI Desktop or in any other data flow, and you have access to that data flow. Sometimes, however, when you get the data from a data flow in the aforementioned situation, you get a message in the navigator window saying the table is empty. So what's the reason behind that? The reason is the data wasn't loaded into the table. That means while creating your data flow, there's no data right now. So you have to actually load the data. So what can be the resolution? In the desktop tools such as Power Query in Excel and Power Query in Power BI Desktop, the loading of the data into table happens automatically unless you disable it. This behavior is a bit different in Power Query in data flows. In data flows entities, that means your tables, the data won't be loaded unless you refresh the data. So how you can refresh the data, you can see on your screen that suppose you have data flows then under the action bar you can set up the schedule refresh and you have to refresh your data only then you can do that so basically you have to set up a schedule refresh for your all the entities and then you can load your data over there so you have to set up a schedule refresh for a data flow or if you want to just have a single refresh you can use the manual refresh options too Next is my Microsoft Power Platform data flow isn't listed. Sometimes you have a Microsoft Power Platform data flow you created and also refreshed, but you still can't access it through the get data command. This might be because the account that's trying to access the data flow doesn't have access. However, if the account does have the access to the data flow, another reason might be the type of the data flow you are trying to access. You might receive the error message, for example, we reach the end of the buffer or data format error. We reach the end of the buffer. So how to solve this kind of problem and what's the reason behind that? Only analytical data flows can be used in a get data operation from a data flow you cannot use the standard data flows. So what is the difference between analytical and standard data flows I have explained in my previous video. So what's the resolution for this? If you are creating a data flow that stores data in data boss, that is a standard data flow. You can see it by using the get data operation from a data flow. However, you can use get data from data boss to access it because standard data flow only gonna store your data into the data boss only. So directly you can access the data was from there or you can create an analytical data flow instead and then access it by using the get data from a data flow. So your best chance is just to create an analytical data flow or directly access the data from the data was. Next is I can't make a direct query connection to the data flow. If you are intent to use the data flow as a direct query source, you might need to enable it first, otherwise you cannot use it. So the reason is the enhanced compute engine settings are disabled into your Power BI admin portal. So you have to enable them. How you can enable them? Well, to enable the enhanced compute engine, you have to go to your Power BI portal and there you will find enhanced compute engine settings, which is in preview at the time of publishing this video. And you can go over there and you can turn them on from there. Now we are going to move to our third and the last part over here where we are going to discuss about troubleshooting while connecting to the source. So this is the last part in which I'm going to explain you certain scenarios where you can have certain kind of error messages or difficulty while trying to connect to the source. When you create a data flow, sometimes you get an error connecting to the data source. This error can be caused by the data gateway, credentials or other reasons. 
So in this one, I'll explain the most common connection errors and the problems and their resolution. So let's get started. The very first comes an on-premise data gateway is required to connect. Well, guys, I have explained you in my previous videos whenever you are trying to connect from an on-premise data and you are trying to refresh the data, then you need a gateway because there is no link between the web service and your source. So you have to make a bridge between these two so that data can travel from source to the destination or from your on-premise to the Power BI service. So in this, you have to select a data gateway. If the data gateway hasn't been set up, you need to install the data gateway and as you can see on your screen how data gateway helps you to connect with the data next can be please specify how to connect this problem happens when you are connecting to a data source but haven't set up the credential or connection details yet it happens when you migrate queries into a data flow so the basic reason is the connection details aren't set up correctly and it's quite irritating and resolution is also there you just need to select configure connection set up the connection details and the credentials that's all you need to do and you would come out with flying colors now another expression error can be the module name xyz has been disabled in the context sometimes when you migrate your queries from power query in desktop tools to the data flow you get an error saying that module is disabled in this context one example of this situation is when your query uses functions such as web.page or web.browser contents. So what is exactly the reason behind that? Disabled modules are related to functions that require on and on-premises data gateway connection to work. Even if the function is getting data from the web page, because of some security compliance requirements, it need to go through a gateway connection. And how to set up the connection? Well, in this case, you have a resolution. Again, you have to go to your Power BI services under the data source settings for your gateway. And if you don't know how to go on a Power BI data gateway, again, please watch my video. And there, once you are on your data gateway, on the left hand side of your data gateway on the top you will find a button to add a data source and there you have to add a data source as your website or web then add your credential over there no authentication is required over there once you will do that then after adding the web data source you can select the gateway in the data flow from options and then go to the project options and here you need to enter credentials if it's asking so and when you have set up the gateway and your credentials successfully the module will no longer be disabled so that's all you need to do in this case in our next video we are going to discuss about the best practices when working with power query so please stay tuned for more exciting videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. See you in the next video.